Greetings Exiles, this is Cod Raziel coming to you with Sir Reginald Amadeus Fortescue III and Frank. And today we're just asking the question, Scorching Ray, will it write your explosion? So, as soon as the patch came out I did some testing. Well, as soon as the patch came out the second time I did some testing. Performance wise the DirectX 11 version is great. I've been able to record with pretty much no frame loss at 1080p which is fan bloody tastic. Now as for Scorching Ray what I've done is I've taken the Righteous Explosion Chieftain I've replaced the little life regeneration and fire damage node we had next to Hinekora Death's Fury for Arong Hui Moon's Presence because now we're using a totem and we can use that well, now we have an excuse to use the totem. I am using a Scorching Ray totem which has replaced my cast and damage taken setup. Now, you can go two ways about this. You can remove the vortex and increase duration from the cast and damage taken and put in a spell totem and Scorching Ray. Or you can remove the whole cast and damage taken setup and put in Iron Wall spell totem, elemental focus, and scorching ray. I'm doing the latter right now since I wanted to test if scorching ray's damage from the totem would be anything worth considering. Right now my scorching ray is only at level 13 so it isn't doing much damage and the spell totem is only level 15 so it's not very tanky but I can see its potential in dealing with bosses. That's pretty much the only use for it that I've discovered thus far. But I'm sure with some tweaking of the actual build we could actually make use of the damage as well. So the end conclusion. Scorching Ray. Will it write explosion? Yes it will. From myself, Sir Reginald Amadeus Fortescue III and Frank, we'd like to thank you for watching and good luck and stay juicy.